Well, good news, everyone. VO2, the AI video generator that is widely touted as, well, A, the Sora killer, of course, and B, the video model that handles physics the best with the least amount of decoherence. I mean, it's so good that one dude made an entire Star Wars fan film with it. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, it's linked below. It's, it's really good. Anyhow, VO2 has finally been released. It is available to everyone. It is totally free and uh, thus far, at least, unlimited use. That said, there are definitely some catches, but there are also workarounds as well. Okay, let's go VO it up. Kicking off, yeah, VO2 is now out in the wild, uh, available for everyone to use. Well, everyone to use in the countries that it is available in. Uh, sorry, EU, you guys really got to get it together over there. This drop is coming hot off the heels of YouTube CEO Neil Mohan's announcement of his like five tent poles for YouTube this year. Number four being uh, AI will make it easier to create and enhance the YouTube experience for everyone. So it's not really a surprise to anyone that, yeah, VO2 is making its debut on YouTube via YouTube Shorts. So am I the biggest fan of this? I mean, not really, but vertical content obviously has a massive audience. And I mean, at least this gives you the chance to try VO2 out. So to get started, uh, open up your YouTube app. Hey, it's a Cleo Abrams short here. Uh, she's the best. Come down to the little plus button. Now, generally that will turn your camera on. Uh, I'm actually screen mirroring here, so it's not doing that. Uh, in order to start using VO2, um, you just come down to the add, uh, basically your camera roll. Here, of course, we have my camera roll, uh, the last two shorts that I did, a bad picture of my dog and two pictures of the new kitten. Uh, the new kitten's a really bad kitten, by the way. Let's kick off with a prompt here. There are a number of different styles uh, that we can try out as well. We'll check in on those in a minute. Uh, but for now, uh, yeah, we're just gonna hit the create button. This rolls us into an ImageN3 output. I just talked about ImageN3 in the last video. Uh, yeah, in terms of prompt coherence, this is probably one of the best image models around right now. Um, so yeah, I like, uh, we'll, we'll use this one. From here, you're kind of unfortunately up to the whim of VO2. There is no ability to prompt for motion. That's something we did see in the web version of it. That said, it does seem to be doing a pretty decent job kind of contextualizing on its own. So uh, let's go ahead and create this. And yeah, fairly decent shot, kind of a gimme, but uh, let's continue on. From here, you can uh, trim your clip down if you want to. So uh, let's say it's like 3.1 seconds. Um, and what's kind of funny is that YouTube Shorts just recently introduced three minute um, shorts. So yeah, we can generate up to three minutes of uh, VO footage in, in, in one go. Uh, I'm just gonna leave this on 15 seconds though, uh, with it done. And from there, it's really just a matter of returning back to the create button and starting the whole process over again. As a quick note, prompting does seem to be limited to uh, 900 characters. So uh, yeah, just make sure that you are aware of that. And we'll use this as our final shot. So one thing that I really don't love is the fact that you can't go back and retime any of your previous clips. Um, so hopefully that's something that we'll see in the future. And from here, we have a preview of our AI generated like short experiment film, uh, you know, typical cyberpunk uh, kind of style. It's funny because we have this timeline view down here, but you actually really can't do much with it besides like add captions. That said, we do have access to like the, the typical YouTube filters here. And I don't know, some of them might actually work for, um, you know, AI generated shorts. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually take that back. You actually can edit the timing of these shots as well. So uh, if we come down to here, uh, we can actually extend this out just a little bit if we wanted to. What we can't do is actually switch the order of shots at least that i've found um so yeah you can do some light editing here uh what you can't do is rearrange your clips but you can create an ai generated soundtrack uh if you come in up to sounds hit the create button uh you can kind of create something along the lines of like you know Suno Udio, that sort of thing. A little beneath Suno and Udio, in all honesty. But uh, yeah, I mean, let's here, let's do cyberpunk, cyberpunk theme, dark electronic. Um, give this a create. So yeah, we get a couple of tracks. Nothing to write home about. It's very kind of background music. And then from here, we just hit next. Uh, it'll then bring us up to the upload. Now, obviously, I don't want to clutter up my shorts feed with a bunch of AI video experiments. Uh, so uh, what I would recommend you do is just you know put the visibility to private um, and then upload it. You can then head over to YouTube studio and then I you know, obviously download your video uh here's something I don't love that's if you download the video you end up with watermarks I, I don't love that so probably your best solution is just to come up to the uh preview up here uh full screen it and then just I mean honestly just screen capture it <laughs> Yeah. 
Now, one thing that should definitely be addressed is the question of like, is this full VO or is this a turbo model? I do tend to think that this is like an optimized turbo model, certainly not on the level of like the Sora Lite version that we got when Sora finally released. For example, running the exact same prompt in the YouTube mobile version versus the uh, you know platform web version. Uh, yeah, the results are pretty noticeable. Uh, there's definitely a lot more sharpness, clarity, and detail in the 16.9 web version. Uh, that's it. I mean, it always still does feel a bit soft to me, so I do feel that you always kind of need to run it through something like an upscaler like Topaz. That said, I do kind of get the need for a turbo model, considering again this is mobile and people will want you know to their generations quicker obviously and this is going out to a much wider audience than those of us who are used to you know waiting for generation times uh, anyhow so taking the same prompt um just to illustrate how much faster it is um this is you know the web version and uh this is the mobile version interestingly with this prompt which doesn't really contain anything particularly inflammatory in it uh, i did get pushback from the vo2 app um, saying that it can't generate realistic characters so i just spammed it a couple of times and uh and it ended up working um though i did not get the four up i only got the one um so let's go ahead and race these um and i'll i'll, I'll show you just exactly how much faster the uh mobile version is so there you go and uh that was probably less than a minute i will note that you know as our other generation is still going it's only up to 25 percent uh, i did have to run this twice because uh, again i got slapped back with uh, we can't generate that type of video there's nothing wrong here uh, again content moderation is a whole you know problem and world unto itself i'm not getting too harsh with uh google and vo2 about this um so that said again i just hit try again and, and then it gave it to me you know one place i do feel that the vo2 model really does shine is in animation and anime um so like let's try this out by taking this image and running that yeah, we end up with a pretty solid output here. Uh, let's just continue on with this. Yeah, these three shots, while not you know particularly stylistically consistent, uh, do show that this definitely has a lot of potential. So look, is it perfect? Not quite yet. Is it free? Yes, it is. Will it inspire a whole new group of people to come in and start experimenting in this space? I mean, I don't know. I hope so. But at the very least, it does give you an opportunity to start you know developing prompt styles and seeing what VO2 can and cannot do. In in terms of like Big Daddy VO2, I think we are getting closer and closer to the release of uh, at least the API on various platforms. In the meantime, yeah, go generate up some shorts. I'd love to check them out. Just don't generate the three minute ones. No one watches a three minute short. I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.